We're now going to solve an applied problem. We're going to solve a medical problem using lithotripsy to smash kidney stones. So let's look at a particular example. An elliptical water tank, so we have an, an elliptical water tank, has a major axis of six feet and a minor axis of four feet. So there's our center, so this is over three, three, two, two. That's all going to be important here in a minute. And we place the source of a high energy shock waste from a lithotripter is placed at one focus of the tank. So we have a focus here. To smash the kidney stone of a patient, how far should the stone be positioned from the source? So we want to put the stone at the other focus because this is going to take advantage of the reflecting property. So this, sa this wave, high energy shock wave, comes out and it bounces right to the kidney stone. Or it sends a wave this way which also bounces right to the kidney stone. So this is using that reflective property. So here we know that we're going with the major axis along the x, so a is going to be 3, b is going to be 2, so a squared is 9, and b squared is 4, because the distance from here to here is c to here and c to here, so we need 2c. That's how far away we need to put the kidney stone. Well, c is equal to the bigger one, c squared is equal to the bigger one minus the smaller one, so c squared is 9 minus 4, which is 5, C is 5, so C is equal to square root of 5, so we should place the patient the square root of 5 feet times 2. So in this case, the distance should be 2 square roots of 5, or if we get out a calculator, 2 times 5 raised to the 1 half power should place them approximately 4.47 or this should be here, 4.47 feet away from the lithotripter, and that will allow all those shockwaves to hit just the kidney stone.